In this video, I will show you how do we reduce several impedances when they are connected in parallel to a single impedance which is known as equivalent or total impedance of that circuit. Let's say I have two points. This is one point and this is another point. Between these two points, we have this resistor R inductance L and the capacitance C. Here you will see the total opposition to current flow will be equal to Z equal to R plus J XL minus XC. R is the resistance, XL is the inductive reactance and XC is the capacitive reactance. XL equal to twice phi fl xc equal to 1 by twice phi fc between these two points there could be resistance inductance or capacitance or combination of them here if we have only resistor therefore xl and xc will be equal to zero if we have only inductor r and xc will be equal to zero and if we have only capacitor xc will r and xl will be zero okay or if i have a resistor and inductor xc will be zero or if i have a resistor and capacitor xl will be equal to zero let's say we get impedance z1 z2 and up to zn they are connected in parallel see one end of the z1 z2 and z3 are connected at the common point and another end of this z1 z2 and zn are connected at this common point here we are applying an alternating voltage v v equal to vm sine omega t this capital v is the rms value of voltage that is applied between these two terminals and the current i is the current that is flowing in this direction now see let's say the impedance of this circuit total impedance or equivalent impedance is equal to z equivalent to with respect to this terminal and this terminal see this is a parallel circuit therefore with respect to this terminal and this terminal voltage will be p but the total current i will divide into i1 i2 up to i n therefore here you will see this will be a node in which the current will divide now see how do we calculate the total current i see this is a total current i that is flowing through this path and between these two terminals we have this equivalent or total impedance z equivalent and applied voltage v therefore you will see our total current i will be equal to voltage total voltage divided by total impedance z equivalent after that see the impedance of this branch is z1 and the voltage between this to terminal is V therefore you will see I1 will be equal to V divided by Z1 I2 will be equal to V divided by Z2 and i n will be equal to v divided by z n see here if i apply kcl at this node kshop's current law at this node you will see this i will be only entering i1 i2 and up to i n will be outgoing so if i apply kcl here i will get i equal to i1 plus i2 plus up to i n okay see here i is v divided by z equivalent i1 is equal to v divided by z1 i2 equal to v divided by z2 i n equal to v by z n so v by z equivalent equal to v by z1 plus v by z2 plus up to v by z n see here if i take v common i will get v by z equivalent equal to v with first bracket 1 by z1 plus 1 by z2 up to z n so this v and this v will get cancelled now see i will get z equivalent equal to 1 by z1 plus 1 by z2 up to 1 by z n here this z equivalent is the equivalent impedance or the total impedance of the circuit this indicates that the reciprocal of the equivalent impedance will be equal to the algebraic sum of the reciprocal of the individual impedances okay when they are connected in parallel that means if i use this formula z 1 by z equivalent equal to 1 by z 1 plus 1 by z 2 up to 1 by z n we can replace these three impedances with a single impedance of z equivalent that will not change the circuit property that means total voltage and current now see here we have total impedance equal to z equivalent and the reciprocal of impedance is admittance so 1 by z equivalent will be equal to y equivalent 1 by z1 will be equal to y1 1 by z2 will be y2 and up to 1 by zn will be y1 so this is how we can calculate the equivalent impedance or we can replace 
several impedances when they are connected in parallel with a single impedance of this value 1 by z equivalent equal to 1 by z1 plus 1 by z2 up to 1 by z n now see there is this special case when we will have two impedances connected in parallel and we have to replace that with a single impedance z equivalent so how do we calculate the z equivalent we will simply take 1 by z equivalent equal to 1 by z1 plus 1 by z2 after that if i take the lcm of the terms i will get 1 by z equivalent equal to z1 plus z2 divided by z1 into z2 if i take the reciprocal of it i will get z equivalent equal to z1 into z2 divided by z1 plus z2 so whenever you will see two impedances are connected in parallel we will use this formula to reduce them into a single one okay that's it thank you